news coming out of Africa where China has really ramped up investment in infrastructure projects on the continent and they range from hey guys so it's a bit later now i had both of my classes it's actually 2 30 right now i look a mess obviously but i'm doing a braid out and i like for my braids to sit in for at least 24 hours i just feel like i get the best results on my braid outs when i do that so but i just wanted to come on and talk with you guys and that's how you're doing i hope that y'all are doing well with everything that's going on and i hope that you and your family and your friends are you know healthy and well um i know that this can be like a tough time for a lot of people definitely and I know that people are like really being affected by this I just didn't want to be like insensitive and to not acknowledge that because I know that this is like affecting everybody in some way it's really crazy but um yeah honestly the biggest effect that this has had on me is just not being able to go to school I would definitely rather be at school but the fact that like that is my only kind of concern or worry just shows how privileged I am and how blessed I am because I know a lot of people like they truly did not want to come home or maybe didn't have a home to even come back to so so yeah I've been quarantined for a month now um because the week of spring break was the week of like spring break was the week of March the 8th and I came home for spring break and then during the week of spring break all this started like popping off and that's when they told us that we weren't going to be going back to school for the rest of the semester. So yeah, I've been home for a month and a half now. Honestly, it's gone by really quickly. Like I was thinking about it and I was look I was looking at the calendar today. It's 420 and I was just like, dang, we only have 10 more days of April. It's about to be May already. I am definitely praying that all this is over. By June. I do have an internship this summer and as of right now it's still happening um, so you know my fingers are really crossed that things are better or that it can at least go virtual instead of like completely being canceled. They've been really good at like communicating with us interns and letting us know what's going on. It's a really pretty day outside. I miss being outside y'all. I miss being able to go places when I wanted to. I was thinking about it the other day and I was just like dang like I would love to go to the movie theater right now. I think even when all this is over we're not really gonna be the same. It just shows me to not take anything for granted. Like literally anything. Don't take anything for granted because everything is a blessing and life in general is a blessing. So I've been taking online classes now for almost a month and honestly, I hate it. It's terrible. Zero out of 10, do not recommend. I thought that it would be cool, but like it's really not. These professors are not letting up, which I think is absolutely insane. We're in a global health pandemic and y'all want people to be, it just got really dark. Spelman did give us the option to do pass or fail. I feel like we should have had the option to make our midterm grade our grade for the rest of the semester. Because if that were the case, I wouldn't do no more work because my midterm grades were all A's. So yeah, I just wanted to come on and sit down and like actually talk to y'all a little bit about me and what's going on in my head. Yeah, I'm going to get ready to go to my grandma's now. Probably going to eat some lunch over there. So I will see you guys when I get there. Y'all, how I just pull up to my grandparents' house and my grandma not even here. And I definitely didn't call her because where is she going? It's quarantine. You don't need to be going nowhere. My grandpa's here, but she's not. But I'm gonna go ahead. Y'all, I wore this jacket out because I thought it was like 65 degrees and it's 73 and I am definitely hot. So this was a mistake. Who is this behind me? Alright, I thought we'll do some questions if anybody's got them and obviously anybody that was up here, uh, including Homer, is my face is breaking out a little bit and I don't know what's happening but I'm leaving my grandma's house now going back home didn't get much done over here so I have a lot of a lot of crap to do once I do get home all right guys so this is my presentation that I've been trying to do for forever and a day now it's on the effects of the transatlantic slave trade on Africa and like I said it's for my African politics class and it's like I have my main points like demographics, economy, I'm going to rename this slide, but destruction of family culture and traditions and then I'm going to rename this too, but like colonization. So those are my four main points, but it's just like, like literally this demographic slide, I've been on this slide for 5,000 years and I only have three points and I do have um, some like notes down here, like other things I need to say. But it's just like, it's taking so much effort. 
I'm really stuck and it's like this is due on Wednesday and I, and I wanted to get at least halfway done with it tonight but that doesn't look like it's gonna be happening so I'm just gonna end today's vlog right here and I will see you guys tomorrow morning Hi guys, so today is Tuesday, April 21st. It's about 12.35 or so, and I just got done getting ready for the day. I had my 9.25 class, and then I had my 1 o'clock class. I just took my hair down, as y'all saw, and I'm honestly mad because I don't like it. Every time I rebraid my hair, I don't like to put product on it because I feel like that's how I get product build up really easily. I didn't think I needed any more product. I just, you know, wet my hair and braided it. This is not it. I'm trying to, I don't know how I could like, yeah, I think I'm just gonna have to put it into a puff. Um, it looks, it just is not cute and I'm really mad because the other day it came out so freaking cute. So guys, I decided to go with the puff. I just wasn't really feeling my hair down. I tried this new um, edge control, what is this? It's the Curls Blueberry Bliss Curl Control Paste. This girl on Twitter recommended it to me because I wanted to try a new edge control. And I actually really, really like it. It definitely smells, it smells like, um blue ring pops that's literally what it smells like to me a blue ring pop so far i really like it it hasn't like left my edges flaky um and i feel like it holds them pretty well so yeah it is now 12 56 and i have class at one o'clock i literally do not like this class it's such a waste of time we don't talk about anything pertaining to the class but whatever i have a lot of crap to do today i gotta finish this presentation for tomorrow and i have to finish editing this video that needs to be up tonight at seven o'clock y'all pray for me hopefully hopefully i get through it all so yeah let's go to class all right guys so i literally just logged on to my class and my professor isn't even in yet that's another thing about online classes my professors sometimes be so late i'm really hungry so i need this to hurry up so i can make some lunch oh here's my professor here we go y'all folks how are you doing today so this is something else about having um, online classes, my Wi-Fi, what the heck? I think it just completely disconnected me from my class. Yep, it's just connecting. I don't know what's going on with my Wi-Fi, but it just cut me out from my class. Um, we weren't talking about nothing, but you know, still. Hey guys, so it's a lot later now and I'm back home. I went to my grandma's house and I finished my presentation that I have to present tomorrow. I'm so freaking happy. I was so over that presentation. I'm I'm over school, honestly. I'm over it. We have what? I think we have two more weeks of class and y'all, I can't wait. This online school stuff is not it. It's really not. So I got my video up that I need to get up at 7 o'clock, got it up on time. I was really like stressing. I have another presentation on Thursday that I really haven't started on. Like I have an idea in my head, um, but I haven't actually started the presentation for real. I was thinking about doing teaching the book of Esther through KOD because my religion class focuses on the book of Esther. And I feel like at first, like, you're probably like, girl, what, what do Esther and J. Cole have anything to do in common? So yesterday I started thinking of like, similar themes um between esther and kod so yeah hopefully that comes together well i'm gonna show you guys my presentation really quickly just so y'all see wish me good luck so here's my presentation guys i still need to add my like work cited and then i'm gonna change this it's, it's still gonna say q a but i don't like how it's like split put it joint in the center boom or maybe i should not have this yeah i'm not gonna have that <laughs> I'm just gonna have my work cited so um, i have a lot of like more points to say besides these points on the screen but you don't want to have every single word that you're gonna say on a presentation i know my my college professors literally hate when i do that so but i'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog right here you guys i feel like it was a little choppy and for that i'm sorry but i hope that you guys enjoyed this video nonetheless if you did don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up press that subscribe button and i will see y'all in my next one